At a young age, a native San Diego noticed water droplets on the needles of the famous Torrey Pine. Now she's researching how to conserve water in a world heating up from climate change. And tonight's Earth 8, CBS 8's Tim Blodgett introduces us to a brilliant young scientist. This is a Torrey Pine, critically endangered and a symbol for San Diego. A young researcher who grew up exploring this area is starting to find that what's in these needles could potentially change the world. Emily Tienchi has loved coming to Torrey Pine State Beach since she was young. And with that view, why wouldn't you? The beach is one of very few places where its namesake grows. As a curious middle schooler with an interest in biology, she became fascinated with the rarely studied tree. Because the pine is so rare, no one had really studied its mechanisms before, which is why I was inspired to kind of take a closer look at the needles. I would observe that the Torrey Pine needles are able to condense water from the marine layer that comes through the state park and use that to water itself in the midst of drought. At the age of 13, she began her research, setting up a lab in her parents' garage using Legos, various household items, and a $20 microscope. She discovered that the needle's surface has a pattern that both absorbs water and deflects it, its molecular makeup ideal for water retention, conclusions that could have real-world applications while California fights droughts. I'm working on creating a standalone moisture harvesting device. So a ton of coastline cities experience that problem, including San Diego. It's so much fog, but we can't access it. And that's just a great potential water reservoir. While she is now a freshman at Stanford, as a high school student in San Diego's Cambridge School, she and her brother founded Clearwater Innovation, a foundation to raise awareness and create solutions in solving Earth's water shortage and pollution issues. She was looking at pine needles, but she looked at it in a totally different way. She's also the star of a new short documentary, Generation Impact, The Scientist. In just a short amount of time, Emily has achieved so much. While her ideas and research could no doubt change the world, she wants to encourage others to follow their own passions. That research is accessible, community service is accessible, everyone can do something. Tim Blodgett, CBS 8. We will put a link to that documentary on our website, cbs8.com. Just search for the online version of the story. And we invite you to watch our Earth 8 special tomorrow night. We'll take a deep dive into the new food recycling law, including what to put in those green bins and why they're so slow to roll out in some parts of San Diego. That's tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m., a half-hour special right here on CBS 8, following an abbreviated edition of this newscast. How many times have you walked by a Tory Pine? Countless, right? Yeah, and thought, and how do they collect it? Have you, have you ever looked at that, seen water on the needle, and thought, how does that? I mean, that's just no, but, brilliant but, minds. But she did. Yeah, and we are thankful for that.